Okay, today we're gonna to be talking about on-set etiquette to help protect your equipment and also not make your client super mad at you for destroying their location. For film etiquette, there's five things that we've identified that we use every day um, when we're on set. The first one is a huge pet peeve of mine. It is hard cases. Oftentimes we'll see people dragging them up and down steps, just kind of throwing them around, lugging them around like that. And yeah, the hard cases will withstand it, but the components inside are pretty fragile. Pick it up, walk it up the stairs. You're going to save the life of your equipment. You're going to prolong the life of the hard cases themselves. So you don't have to buy another, you know, 100 to 200 or 300 or $400 hard case. And you're just not going to look like a lazy bum. Okay, the second thing is I, I find quite funny when people think of expensive things, for some reason we are taught to put it up on top of something. Don't put anything on the floor. And with film production, it's opposite. Keep everything on the floor. You know, a couch could be anywhere from free to $10,000 custom-made couch. On set, I don't want to be asking someone after we damage it, oh, so is this a free one or is this one of those $10,000 couches? Sometimes when we have friends who are helping us out or people who are doing internships, they're laying stuff up against walls, putting stuff on furniture, trying to keep it off the floor because the floor is dirty. The floor is going to be the safest place. Oftentimes I see people putting cameras up on desks because it's not on the floor. But really, if you think about it, it's just a further distance for the camera to fall if it gets knocked over. With that, protect the floor. We had a client who told us this little story about, you know, he hired this one tradesman. The tradesman came in. He was very careful. He didn't hurt anything, but he just didn't bring a blanket. And he put all his stuff on the floor, even though nothing was scratched. He didn't hire that tradesman again. In that moment when he was telling us the story, got on Amazon and we bought some shipping blankets. Every single time we arrive to a location, it's the first thing we do is we put down this blanket, we put all of our equipment on it. Make sure you keep things far enough away from the wall. It creates a nice little space to where if we're taking stuff on or off, it always goes on that blanket and kind of just keeps everything clustered in one area. It's really nice. Etiquette tip number three is C-stand etiquette. Not all of you guys use C-stands, but eventually you will as you keep growing and progressing. They're super useful. First, and probably one of the most important things about a C-stand is always grip it on the outside of the extension arm. This makes it easier for carrying, but it definitely makes it easier for passing on to another individual so you don't pinch your fingers. That's a little tip we learned from Shane Hurlburn, and it's coming super handy. Another thing is when carrying the C-stand, where possible, carry it upright, especially indoors. Outside, not as big of a deal, but definitely inside, always carry it vertical, upright, so you're not whacking walls and poking holes and things. And again, for setting it down, again, people think that putting things on the ground is horrible, so they put it on countertops or, <laughs> or rest the C-stand up against the wall and it slips and makes a huge hole. Lay a C-stand down on either your blanket or actually just pull out the legs and set it upright because it's called a, a stand for a reason because it can stand on its own. Okay, number four, when we're packing up everything, find it is best to take out the memory card right then and there. It allows it so that the camera bag is completely packed and doesn't have to be unpacked when we get back to our location. Also, it just makes it super simple to be able to pass it off to someone for offloading. A little tip that we learned over on the Tested channel, if they're facing upright, that signals to everybody that, oh, content on this stuff is important, don't format me. It'd be pretty bad to lose the footage that you just captured for your client because you formatted the wrong card. This is a little visual system to help everybody be on the same page. Also, while packing up, we always carry extra batteries on set. We always want to make sure that we're putting a full battery into the case. That way, again, the camera case is completely ready to go in case there was, you know, like a last minute phone call from a client and they needed to shoot. Everything is completely ready for us to be able to just pick up the case and go. Number five, it's the traditional rule for a campsite. When you go to a campsite, you're supposed to leave the campsite cleaner than you found it. Same thing with the location, especially if it's your client's home. Making sure pillows get put back where they belong, chairs, picking up tape, the whole nine yards. If you're not that good at remembering where things go or where they were before, take a quick picture on your phone and then put things back where they belong. And that's it. Really in the end, the most important part that we found is we're getting paid like professionals, so we should look and act like professionals. And these little etiquette tips are great ways to be able to just visually communicate that we are worth what people are paying us. And even in cases where, you know, we were doing projects that were smaller and people weren't paying us a whole lot, gives the idea of, hey, wow, this team is worth a lot more than what I pay them. These guys are truly professional. The beauty is 
you impress your client, and when a client's impressed, you tend to be the go-to guy for that individual. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Looking forward to see how these etiquette tips help you guys. Um, comment below if there's anything we missed or anything that you guys have found that's super useful in terms of etiquette on film sets to be able to just make things go smoothly and look professional. We'd love to hear how some of these tips help you guys as you continue to improve yourselves as professionals in the film arena.